Hey guys, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. And today in this video, I'm going to be giving my top tips for how to gain hero XP. So this is a common topic that I've seen in uh, All State Discord in particular, people asking about this. So I just wanted to kind of give my, uh, my best bets for how you can upgrade your heroes as quickly as possible. So, point one, in terms of buildings, you've got the bar in your castle. And if you click on details, you'll see that it does give hero XP bonus. So depending on what level you are, it's going to give you more. So level one only gives 1% all the way up to level 25, which gives 40% extra hero XP bonus. So that's the first thing to point out. If you can uh, level up your bar as much as possible, that's gonna help with the XP that your heroes gain whether that's from um, when they're attacking Marauders, etc. So that's the first thing. Second thing, Marauders. So on the map, we have these guys. Now, base Marauders only take uh, 10 stamina normally to kill. And as you can see, they in the rewards, you get XP Okay, for your heroes. So my next tip is to... Well, when you're outside of Reign of Chaos Seasons or Eden and you have stamina available and you've got the time, then try and kill as many um, Marauders as you can with the heroes that you want to upgrade their levels um, in those legions. So it's really simple just to obviously click on the search icon and it will, you can select whichever level is the maximum you can take at that point, whether it's, you know, a level 10 or up to all the way up to the maximum level 15. This will then search for them within a, the search will search for them within 100 kilometers of your castle and you can select them and then attack. So uh, potentially you have around 80 uh, slots of, of stamina. If you think you've got four legions and you can have uh, 100 stamina per legion, it's going to take 10 stamina to kill a marauder. So potentially you can kill up to 80 marauders a day, give or take. All right. Now, my next couple, now, two more points regarding if you're going to kill Marauders to up, upgrade your hero XP. First off, if we go in the blacksmith, look in craft, and go to scavenger, let's have a look, guys. Scavenger straw hat, the helmet, Marauder attack stamina cost reduction of, 50, of up to 30% if you have this on gold. All right, so white's only going to give, uh, won't give you anything actually on that skill. Once you get to purple, it'll give you 10% cost reduction on your stamina. Orange will give 20%, gold gives 30% reduction. So uh, what's that going to do? Well, if you, were t if you equip a straw hat, a gold straw hat to your legion, when you attack a marauder, it'll only take seven stamina rather than 10. So if you can craft some scavenger straw hats or just even one and equip it to the legion that you're using to attack you'll be able to attack several more marauders than you would if you don't have this equipped and obviously that will then allow you to obtain more xp because you're attacking more marauders each day the other thing is heroes in the legion that you're using so say if you're um wanting to i don't know Okay, all those guys are 50. Say if I'm wanting to upgrade Dragon Avatar's levels, okay? I've only just got him in um, Eden Rewards for last season. I could put a really strong hero on my front row. Um, you know, I've got... Well, I could put either like Avalanche, Army Breaker. I've got Warlord Max. Any of those guys, I could put them on the front row of my Legion. And then um, you, you can then also pop in... Uh, one of the following two guys. So let's. There are two blue heroes that give really good additional XP. And the first one is Sheriff. And if you look here, you're going to want to unlock his second skill. So it's this one with the images of the up arrows and the troops. And here we go. It's a leadership skill. It's applicable for the heroes legions, so all of the troops that are in the legion with them. And as you can see, you can get between uh, 
a 5% increase and up to all the way up to a 50% increase hero formation marauder XP gain. So anyone, any other heroes that are in that formation, if you put Sheriff in, they're going to get 50% extra XP if you have that skill maxed. The other hero that has this at blue level is also Mr. Apprentice here. So he also has that skill here in his third skill. Again, it's the same 5 up to 50%. So that's the third skill for the Apprentice. It's this icon here. If you don't have either of those, uh, you've just started out in the game, then there are a couple of green as well. Mr. Pirate and the Beggar. They both have that skill as well, but not to the same extent. Um, it's between 3% up to a maximum of 30% gain um, for those two guys as green heroes. So that's Pirate and the Beggar also have it, but not quite up to that 50% buff, okay? So that is how you can gain extra um, XP through taking um, Killing Marauders. And now let's have a quick go at doing this. So as I've already said, I'm gonna, let's, I will use my class legion with maxed warlord and um, I've also got full gold gear in here so that's going to give me a reasonable amount of protection even against the level 15 haven't actually tried this before so this is going to be completely new um, ironically um, so we'll pop in dragon's avatar he's not a cavalry hero so and I don't have any skills unlocked anyway so it doesn't really matter and then let's pop in Let's pop in the Sheriff. So we'll pop Sheriff in at the back. And now, in fact, let's not pop Sheriff in at the back. Let's do it first without Sheriff. And then we can have a look at the difference and see actually uh, what the material difference is in the amount of XP that the hero gains. So uh, let's just swap Sheriff over. Sorry, Blue Stacks is going really slow today. I'm in the wrong menu as well. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Living Saint as she's available. All right, so. Oh, formation so great. Okay, so you pop in the hero, the hero that you want to increase the XP with, with some experienced, developed heroes. Uh, we'll go to that Iron Swordsman. Uh, he's only 32 kilometers away, so let's attack him with this Legion. Okay, so my Legion have now attacked the Iron Swordsman. And if we go into the Battle Report, or Mar sorry, Marauder Attack Report, it will show you how much XP that hero gains. So Dragon's Avatar, he's gained 46,200 XP from attacking that level 15 Iron Swordsman, okay? So let's go back out and we are going to now swap out Living Saint and let's see if Sheriff will work. I haven't tried this before. How many troops are we only? Yeah, we didn't actually lose any troops. So um, let's swap out Living Saint. There's Mr. Sheriff. And we are going to max that, that skill for him. Luckily, I've got some wisdom medals to burn, so that's fine. So we'll unlock this. Oh, need to get him to help. Need to get him to level six first. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so there you go. You need to get Sheriff to level six to unlock this skill and for the apprentice it will be level 12 I think for his third skill so now we can unlock this it's going to require him to be level 6 60,000 gold 20,000 Winchester medals for that first level okay and then let's upgrade this wow blue stacks is going really slow Come on, come on. So you're going to need a few hundred wisdom medals to max it. 
that's just another consideration obviously so now I've maxed it I've got that extra 50% and we will try attacking another iron swordsman level 15 here we go and I've got one 50 kilometers away so I'm gonna march and attack this iron swordsman with this legion and let's see what happens okay guys so the legion have just attacked the level 15 iron swordsman let's go into that marauder attack report and this time you can see dragon's avatar and the sheriff actually as well they've gained 61,599 xp so that is the difference that sheriff is going to bring to you okay 46,200 for Dragon's Avatar without Sheriff. And if you put him with him, it's giving you, what, an extra 15,000 XP? Now, please bear in mind as well that obviously I do have the bar max and I haven't popped in. Um, yeah, I do have the bar max, so that's giving me an extra 40% on the base as well. So you guys won't get a similar. Uh, base figure unless you've got the bar maxed um, to the same level as I do. So those are my top tips in terms of how to gain hero XP by killing marauders and how you can kill the most marauders um, per day using that um, using uh, the hat from the gathering uh, from the scavenger gear. Okay, so to get that 30% uh, reduction, if you can get a gold scavenger's straw hat, and then buy a um, by equipping either the Sheriff or the Apprentice Blue um, Combat Heroes and unlocking the, those uh, skills, you're going to get an extra 50% from there. One last thing to cover in terms of XP gain. So, hourly events. Obviously, every hour of the week, we get a different hourly challenge. And you really do want to try and complete this hourly challenge at least three times a day because you'll get 20 hero tokens for the first three times that you complete it. And if you can complete it more than that, it's up to you. You get a better return on investment from just doing the second boxes, but these don't have hero XP. So if you are really struggling for hero XP, then maybe a focus might be that you do complete a few more of these third hourly challenges. Because on the third hourly challenge reward chest, you will get 40 times 5,000 hero XP, and 40 times 20,000 hero XP. So those are kind of a couple of key things as well. If you check the hourly challenge, uh, third chest rewards on a Thursday, hero development day, uh, they are uh, significantly higher. You're gonna have um, hero, you're gonna get um, a couple of hundred thousand hero XPs in your rewards and more of these. So uh, on Thursdays in particular, the more hourly third chest you can uh, complete, the more hero XP you're going to gain, and that can be a big push as well. Um, little things that you can also do, um, you can complete Monster Siege. Um, so, sorry, Marauder Siege Defense. So if we have a look, the higher level rewards for this will give you a few hero XP. Uh, nothing massive, but um, you know it's better than nothing. Uh, same for the individual rewards as well. So if your alliance do uh, Marauder Siege Defense, which is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays only, uh, then that will bring you uh, a little bit more. And if you complete, um, if you also complete in Heroes Duel, I believe that will also give you some Hero XP as well. So that is pretty much um, nearly everything you can do in the game um, for free that will give you Hero XP. Of course, there are also options in the Benefit Center um, and you know in the premium section for picking up hero XP there you go right there um, this pack will give you only a hundred thousand but it's I for me, it's definitely not worth the investment that is a really bad investment I wouldn't spend don't spend any money on hero XP you can gain plenty of hero XP by following um, following my advice and doing the processes that I've just talked about in this video okay guys and um, as you can see from my group of heroes, uh, I have, you know, all of, well, ignore these two guys, but all the heroes that I use in my legions, they're already maxed at 50, level 50. I'm not even using um, Immortal, the Brave, 
or ble bleeding stead or witch hunter in my um, legions at the moment. All rogues, all are all dual blades. They're all at fifty. Hurricane or rookie. Uh, so they're all at 50, okay? So you, if you're an active player and you're doing the things that I've talked about, you can gain hero XP um, reasonably quickly. And, uh, you know, what I would suggest is, obviously, for you guys playing earlier in the game, that you really focus on one Legion at a time, all right? That's the main thing. And if you look at the development heroes, try not to expend any hero XP on them if you can. Uh, because the other key thing with these develop heroes is that nearly all of them, uh, their first skills have gain XP related to them. So if you spend a few wisdom medals on upgrading this first skill on your develop heroes, uh, then whenever they do an action that, that is relatable to them, uh, then you'll get this extra um, XP for them and they'll naturally increase in level uh, by themselves so that's another top tip as well try not to uh, use any XP on your develop heroes guys so there we go that is uh, Pond's top tips for uh, gaining hero XP I hope you found the video useful and informative and you'll be able to have a go at the processes that I've shown you in the video and uh, get as many heroes as you can up to that magical level 50 so that you can unlock all eight skills on those orange heroes which is the name of the game isn't it guys so uh, thank you very much for watching for those of you that haven't already please do click the subscribe ring that bell and if you could share my channel in your alliance chats province chats on discord line and whatsapp i'd really appreciate it guys if you have any comments or queries about what i've covered in this video then please pop them in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching guys that's it for now have a nice evening i'll see you soon